Well, I feel uh, fulfilled. Um, I'm sure you know this is the first attempt I have made. 2003, 2007, and 2011, this one. And uh, uh, luckily this time around, uh, we are successful. And, you know, were you surprised when President Goodluck Jonathan called you to concede defeat and say congratulations? Because that's a very new thing here in Nigeria. Well, I'm not surprised because um, I think uh, he has been talking to international community especially United States, Europe, in particular Britain. Uh, and I think um, uh, he's respectful of those uh, countries and their leadership. And uh, all the I feel was not uh, something extraordinary, that as a commander-in-chief and the president, you should allow the law to take its course. Let the Nigerian election be conducted according to law. That's all they asked him. And I think he gave them uh, his undertaking, and I think he did his best. Now, the big work really starts. You've made a lot of promises to Nigeria. Have you thought about how you're going to go about fulfilling these promises? I think I wouldn't have made the promises if I don't know how to go about it. But we identified three fundamental problems. That is uh, the insecurity in the country, which everybody knows. And then uh, the lack of employment, that means the destruction of the economy, literally, by corruption, and then corruption itself. These three fundamental problems, all Nigerians know it. And uh, we are asking Nigerians their cooperation. They shouldn't expect the miracles to happen uh, a couple of months after we have taken over, because uh, the destruction took so many years, 16 years of uh, the ruling party's uh, 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 rule of this country. Mm. Uh, so I believe uh, um, the country will give us the opportunity uh, to do our best, to pick our priorities uh, and work as hard as we can. I, I want to just pick up on one point that you made there, uh, you know, the insecurity uh, in the country, Boko Haram. How are you going to tackle that beast if you want. Are you going to offer peaceful negotiations or are you just going to hit them hard? Well, hit, him, hit them hard with what? Boko Haram um, by the 14th of uh, February when we were to have the election, but was was called, where according to the government's uh, calculation, in charge of 14 local governments. These are 14 local governments out of 774 local governments. If for five, six years, the Nigerian law enforcement agencies, including the military, could not secure 14 local governments out of 774, how can I promise miracle when I come? But with the cooperation of our neighbors, Cameroon, Chad, Nigeria, and the international community, uh, and the commitment we are going to get from the military, I think uh, it will take us a much shorter time to deal with them. Than Just the one final uh, uh, question, Mr. President-elect. Um, you, you mentioned corruption there and how entrenched it is in Nigeria. Some people would argue that even within your party, there are many people who are as, cor are as corrupt as some of these people who you say you're going to fight who are outside your party. Are you ready to tackle corruption to its fullest. I made that promise. And I hope you and the Nigerians will give me the opportunity to see whether my effort will be good enough or not. Mr. President-elect, thanks for talking to the BBC. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.